Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud provides all the three fundamental technologies necessary for protecting and administering protection of a small company. Full-fledged threat protection for Windows and Mac workstations and servers. Protection for Android mobile devices, antivirus, protection against phishing links, resetting to factory settings, etc. Protection for iOS mobile devices, resetting to factory settings, remotely wiping data, plus server and console for remote centralized management. Starting from version 8.0, Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud has two additions, Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud and Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Plus. An activation code for a Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Plus license, allows you to use device and web control protection components and the patch management feature. Different sets of protection components are installed on workstations and servers. Mail and web threat protection, host intrusion prevention, as well as device control and web control, can be installed only on workstations. Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Windows consists of components, each of which has its own area of responsibility. Some components protect against threats, others help to control the user. Protection components are the most numerous and can be grouped by functionality. The following components search for malware and neutralize it. Virus scan tasks. File threat protection. Mail threat protection. Web threat protection. File threat protection permanently monitors the files being accessed on the computer and scans them for infections prior to allowing access. This is the most important of the threat protection components. It prevents most of the malware from starting. It must never intentionally be disabled. Mail threat protection scans email messages on the fly and also checks the attachments for malware. If mail threat protection is disabled, messages and files attached to them will eventually be scanned by file threat protection. However, it is easier to delete malware before it is saved to the disk. Also, scanning messages on the fly takes fewer resources. Mail threat protection saves the overall resources spent on detecting and removing malware. Web threat protection intercepts web requests and scans the downloaded files for malware and thus saves resources similarly to mail threat protection. Prevents the user from opening a phishing website or a site spreading malware. The web threat protection is the key anti-phishing component. Disabling web threat protection makes the user vulnerable to phishing attacks. Virus scanning does not intercept anything. It runs according to the specified schedule and scans files on the drive more thoroughly than the file threat protection. Virus scanning should be performed once every one or two weeks, preferably at night, because virus scanning can considerably decrease computer performance. Some components of Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Windows do not search for malware. They help to repel threats by decreasing the attack surface. Malware may use various penetration methods. The user might download them from a suspicious website, receive by email, copy from an infected removable drive, etc. Some types of malware actively search for the ways to penetrate a computer, try to copy themselves over the network or sneak through a vulnerability. The use of a firewall to block unnecessary connections is another popular method of decreasing the attack surface. A personal or office computer rarely needs to accept inbound connections. Usually, it establishes outbound connections to websites, local file servers, mail servers, etc. The firewall prevents active network attacks by limiting inbound connections to the computer. The firewall of Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Windows is supplied with standard preset rules that restrict unnecessary connections, especially, connections from the Internet. The network threat protection component complements the firewall. In contrast, this component does analyze the information received over the network and compares it with the signatures of known network attacks. If a match is found, the connection is blocked. Kaspersky Endpoint Security components can be split into three groups components that provide static protection, components that provide dynamic protection, and additional components. The file, web, mail threat protection components provide static protection for a device, scan objects before they run, block start and download of dangerous objects. The behavior detection, exploit prevention, and rollback components provide dynamic protection, monitor objects actions, analyze, detect, and block dangerous behavior. The components and technologies that help to counter new malware, not yet added to the signature databases, or minimize their impact are called proactive defense. Heuristic analysis which we've studied already is an example of a proactive defense technology. 
However, the main role in this protection aspect belongs to behavior detection, exploit prevention, remediation engine, host intrusion prevention, and to some extent to the control components and firewall. Malware detection is the main task. For this purpose, behavior detection monitors program actions and compares them with dangerous activity patterns. The application activity log includes file access operations, established network connections, and system function calls. Host intrusion prevention categorizes applications into trust groups, for which limitations are specified. Every program receives one of the four trust levels. Trusted, low restricted, high restricted, untrusted. Kaspersky Endpoint Security assigns a trust group to a program when it starts for the first time. The main categorization tool is Kaspersky Security Network. Host intrusion prevention limits interaction with other programs and operating system services depending on the trust group. Exploit prevention, protects from various attacks, exploits, whose aim is to receive administrative permissions in the system or conceal code execution. Exploits typically use buffer overflow attacks. Incorrect parameters are passed to a vulnerable program or service, which processes them and therefore executes some parameters as code. Typically, malware tries to start itself under the administrator account as a result of such an attack. When this option is enabled, start operations are being monitored and if a vulnerable program starts another program without the user's explicit command, the start is blocked. Remediation Engine rolls back actions taken by the programs deleted by file threat protection, virus scan tasks, and behavior detection. Actions to be rolled back are any changes made to the file system, creating, relocating, renaming files, or registry keys, the records created by the malware are deleted. Components use the threat database when searching for viruses. The database contains descriptions of viruses. When scanning files for malware, Kaspersky Endpoint Security checks whether the database contains a similar description. When new malware appears, Kaspersky Lab adds new descriptions to the database. Therefore, to provide reliable protection against threats, the latest version of the threat database must be available on the computer. A special update module is responsible for this. It automatically checks for a newer version of the database and downloads it to the computer. To ensure that Kaspersky Endpoint Security components reliably protect against threats, it is important to regularly update the signature databases. It is also important to allow Kaspersky Endpoint Security to use the Kaspersky Security Network. Kaspersky Security Network KSN, is a cloud-assisted technology that helps increase the accuracy of verdicts for all protection components. Kaspersky Security Network servers collect information about files on the protected computers, analyze it using machine learning technologies, consider when a file was detected for the first time, whether it is widespread, in which regions, whether the users of personal versions of Kaspersky Security trust the file, whether the file is signed with a certificate and which one, etc. Suspicious files are additionally analyzed by Kaspersky Lab experts. After that, Kaspersky Security Network assigns a trust group to the file. Trusted, Low Restricted, High Restricted, Untrusted For each trust group, Kaspersky Lab analysts have developed scenarios that describe what files are allowed to do and what is prohibited depending on the assigned trust group reputation. A CryptoLocker is a Trojan malware program that encrypts files on the computer and demands a ransom for the decryption. CryptoLockers get on the computer from email messages and websites. Once you open a dubious attachment or click an infected banner, the malware gets on the computer. To raise no suspicion, criminals often spoof messages from banks or tax offices. As soon as a CryptoLocker penetrates the computer, it reports to the command and control server. Some types of malware additionally request an encryption key from the server. Then the ransomware encrypts files on the local and network drives and deletes their original copies. Afterwards, the encryption key is also deleted. Only the criminals have the copy. When done, the malware displays a message to the user where criminals demand a Bitcoin ransom for decrypting the files. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud repels crypto lockers at all stages of the attack. Intercepts infected messages and links to malware spreading websites, prohibits saving malicious files to the drive, prevents dubious programs from opening the user's documents, does not allow the user to start suspicious files. The following components are responsible for this, it is highly recommended that they remain enabled, mail threat protection, searches for links to phishing sites and malware spreading resources and email messages, and scans attachments, web threat protection, scans HTTP and HTTPS traffic and blocks access to infected sites, 
file threat protection, looks for malware on the computer drives and disinfects it, behavior detection, logs programs actions, and if malicious activity is detected, blocks the application and rolls back its actions, host intrusion prevention, will not allow suspicious processes to modify the user's files. Control components can be regarded as additional protection elements that decrease the attack surface on the computer. However, their main purpose is to limit employees' actions, especially during business hours. In some control components, you can configure schedules for the limitations, for example, only from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and only on weekdays. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud provides two controls, device control and web control. The purpose of device control is to prohibit connecting the specified device types to the computer, for example, USB flash drives, modems, or printers. Device control helps to achieve the following. Decrease the attack surface. If removable drives are prohibited from connecting to the computer, the employees will not be able to bring malware from outside and copy it to their computers. Reduce the risk of losing important data. If removable drives may not be connected to the computer, important documents cannot be copied to them. Web control is a kind of parental control in the business context. Web control can be configured to prohibit users from visiting social networks, job search sites, terrorist sites, arms traders, drug dealers and adult content websites. You can also prohibit downloading music, video and executable files from the internet. The expected positive effects include Decreased attack surface If dubious sites and download of executable files are prohibited, computer infection risk decreases drastically. Higher productivity the less distractions the employees have, the higher the chances that they will work rather than chat in social networks. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud allows you to configure encryption of managed devices running Windows and Mac OS. Encryption prevents other users from gaining unauthorized access to data stored on the user's device. Devices running Windows are encrypted by using BitLocker drive encryption. BitLocker is a technology that is part of the Windows operating system. Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Windows encrypts all logical partitions of hard drives of a device simultaneously. Recovery keys are stored in the Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud infrastructure. The encryption management feature is available only if you activated Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud under a Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Plus license. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud allows you to install software patches that fix vulnerabilities detected on managed devices running Windows. The patch management feature is available only if you activated Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud under a Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Plus license. Kes for Mac is a counterpart of Kes for Windows that takes into account the operating system specifics. Mac OS can be considered a safer system, and there are fewer protection components for it, only. Virus scan tasks, file threat protection, web threat protection, network threat protection, they use signature analysis, which requires updates, and KSN. There are no control components, behavior detection, firewall, or mail threat protection. Devices running macOS are encrypted by using the File Vault Disk Encryption feature. When an administrator starts File Vault encryption of a device from Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud, Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Mac prompts a user of this device to enter his or her credentials. Disk encryption only starts after the user provides the credentials and the device is restarted. Recovery keys are stored in the Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud infrastructure. The encryption management feature is available only if you activated Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud under a Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Plus license. If applications can be installed on a mobile device, malware can also be installed there. Besides, devices can connect to the internet and the users might open phishing sites. Mobile devices are similar to workstations in this regard and need to be protected similarly. When manufacturers improve performance of tablets and phones, on the one hand, they enhance their capabilities and enable users to work with email, office files, or edit photos. On the other hand, they attract attention of virus writers, because these resources can also be used for launching malware. Tablets are also very useful for web browsing. Therefore, the user needs protection against phishing links. A mobile phone or a tablet can easily be lost or stolen, and it is important that their protection includes a stricter user authentication that prevents unauthorized use, and tools that will help to find a lost device.
mobile phones are on average still less powerful than workstations. For this reason, real-time protection and on-demand file scanning cannot be as thorough as on desktops. The good news is that viruses for mobile platforms are still less common. If device is lost, the most drastic measure is to remotely wipe the lost smartphone. Then even if criminals get hold of such a device, corporate data will not leak, especially if the phone has been encrypted. Yes, there are fewer viruses for mobile platforms than for Windows so far, but already enough to be worried about. To make matters worse, an infected phone is likely to be used for sending out spam not only to the email contacts, but also to all the phone book contacts, including your boss, your boss's boss. From the company's security point of view, what is valuable about a phone is corporate data. Criminals may be interested in it, or a leakage could harm the company. For instance, if unprocessed photos of a reality show star or something uncomplimentary about a famous politician leaks out. The client part of the KSM solution is installed on the mobile devices. It is a counterpart of Kaspersky endpoint security for Windows workstations, but designed for mobile platforms. Different applications are installed on different operating systems. Mobile Device Management Profile on iOS Kesem on Android Android does not prohibit accessing the file system. The device can be used as a flash drive, with some limitations though. All Android applications are run in an isolated environment, and system files are read-only. However, the user can root the operating system and get unlimited administrative permissions, including modification of system files and access to data of all the installed applications. Kesem cannot prohibit rooting, but it can detect it, and inform the administrator, take the action configured by the administrator in case of rooting, for example, lock the device or automatically wipe corporate data. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud possesses all the qualities important for small companies. Signing up does not take much time, thanks to the centralized Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud console, which is pre-installed and completely maintained by Kaspersky Lab experts. The components that provide protection against threats do not require configuring, and work efficiently right after the installation. The users do not notice Kaspersky Endpoint Security operations, because all events are sent to the centralized console instead of the employee's screens. The administrator can quickly learn about issues by opening the Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud console, or configuring email notification. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud protection components complement and reinforce each other. Together they provide reliable protection against any malware, including the most recent. Each component contributes to the job. Disabling even one of them may be dangerous. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Efficiency is proven by various independent antivirus tests and awards, 